position. Everything going all right so far? Any word from whom? I got a message from, well, best not to name an entire chain of smuggling syndicates in polite company. Anyway, Weishaupt is apparently the special kind of mess that only appears when Hawk shows up. I'm not entirely sure how it'll all play out, but my money's on Hawk walking away from the Warden's Fortress as it explodes. I don't understand how you just become a Viscount. When the ruler of a marcher state dies and there's no heir, the nobles of the city pick a new ruler. Only none of Kirkwall's nobles actually want the throne. Most of them think it's cursed, actually. They can't leave it empty, though, or some other state like Starkhaven or Ansberg will probably invade. I complained about the empty office when it interfered with my reconstruction efforts. They took that as volunteering. I'm surprised no one from the Council of Heralds wants your autograph. You just missed them. Duke Cyril keeps asking me for spoilers for my next book. So, Bran used to be Viscount, and now he just... follows you around? Provisional Viscount. Pretty much. With a permanent appointee, finally, in the Viscount's office, I am free to return to my post as Seneschal. He means my true calling is arrogantly telling people they can't talk to the Viscount. He's good at it, too. We'll talk more another time. I'll be here if you need me. Been meaning to ask. Solus hasn't come back. Sent word? Anything? I've heard nothing. He's gone. Ah. Uh, I'm sorry. You don't seem to get flowers for Josephine anymore. You only just noticed. It's been years, and we both knew it was just a momentary infatuation. She still teases me about it. Every time I walk past, she sighs and says her desk lacks cheer. It's nice to have everyone back in the same place again. <laughs> I have to admit I missed it. What does it mean when we need a huge diplomatic talk or the world ending just to bring us together? I got the chance to have a few drinks with Sarah. Miss that girl. It's still a little awkward talking to Cassandra. But the commander appears to have forgiven me. Finally. What is it like, being a warden now? Things are in upheaval. There have been heated arguments about the future of the Order. <sighs> I wouldn't be surprised if we tore ourselves apart. What do you think's going to happen at the Exalted Council? Maker, I have no idea. Politics always makes my head spin. The Inquisition shouldn't have to give in whenever some prissy noble gets their knickers wet somewhere. Until later. Take care. Spirits have fled, flying, fluttering, fast to the farthest fade. They're afraid of the veil tearing again. Scout lays hard in swift and So, you and the Bard. You know most Bards are spies, right? You were a spy, Chief. <sighs> Look, I just don't want you to get... burned. Don't say it. Because then you'd be... Creme brulee! <laughs> Creme brulee! <laughs> Creme, I understand you and Meriden are seeing each other. Ah, uh, yes, Your Worship. I mean, we've just started, so... Oh, come on. Get in there, show her what you can do. Listen, Chief, there's this thing you may not have learned growing up Canary and all. Hey! I'm great at foreplay. 
Could we not? I didn't mean foreplay, I meant courtship. Oh, well, that's a waste of time. You two are good, though, right? You need me to talk to her about... things? No! Uh, no, no. Thanks, though. We're good. The Chargers have been with the Inquisition for a while now. Is everyone still happy? No complaints, Your Worship. The Inquisition's been good to us. We'd disband and join the Inquisition officially, but the Chief gets this sad dog look when we suggest it. The loyalty is touching, Krem. Hello, and shh. I'm trying to figure out why everyone is acting so weird. I mean, besides because Canary assassins and everything. You see it, right? There's something going with the elf servants. Makes sense after that ruin, right? It's been a couple of years. How's everything sitting with you? It's weird meeting back up and seeing everyone get their grey. First time I've been anywhere long enough to get fond of things. Leliana's friendly when she wants to be. My people sometimes do things for her, like I do for you. All that blood and thunder just so everyone can live well an hour once around. Good lesson, I suppose, if there had to be one. When you start going on about elves, it's hard to tell if it's about them or you. Yes, yes, you're ever so clever, ass. Point is, the servants have no complaints, no asking for a Jenny. They serve this lot, but don't want them done for anything. So, the nobles are nice, and the servants are happy? Two things that have never been true. Mark that I said it. We're fighting Canari, but something else is on the up. I suppose you've a lot to say about that elven ruin. About the creators. They're not even demons. Just big magey knobs punching down. And yes, the shits who use them to make me feel broken can still eat it. But always waiting for that fight is way too much work. It's like doing half the hurt for them. Maybe we're old now, but I'm tired of it. We've new fights to look forward to. We always do, seems like. We'll talk later. Count on seeing you, yeah? It is good to see you, my friend. So what do you think of the Chantry? You ask me just to poke at me and see if I react, don't you? It is what it is. Most Holy's reforms are interesting, to say the least. I hope they last once Leliane is gone. Regardless of what I think, it could have been far worse. You and I both remember the dark times we faced. Sadly, others have far shorter memories. What do you think of the Exalted Council? They are frightened of your power, and there is no longer a hole in the sky to remind them that it was needed. They might be right. Do not say that near them unless you want to give them the scent of blood. Even so, I would wait and see where this leads. Karma heads may yet prevail. When has that ever been the case? I'm an optimist. Just ask Varric. I'll see you later. Farewell. Sky. 
Tell me, these strange spaces past the Alluvians, are they safe to explore? None of it has been as bad as the nightmare in the Fade. I can tell you that. I will take your word for it. And yet, you've accomplished so much in the calm of these past years. I wish you did not have to imperil yourself for us. Again. I must admit, after years of dinners and paperwork, it feels good to be exploring again. I only wish you had fewer Canari interrupting your stroll. I will do what I can here. Once the Canari are dealt with, brace yourself. The Council is just as relentless. Something you needed? Is there any news from Ferelden? How is your family? My sister Mia keeps me informed. As I understand, she's training my nephew to best me at chess. All good news then? Not all, but most of it is, and that's good enough. Is there anything I should know? We were permitted soldiers here, and our every move is watched. Some things never change. Do you remember the first time we came to the Winter Palace? All too well. I've already answered a half dozen questions about my personal life. The reason we're here is because we made a difference. That's worth enduring the political small talk. Have you had a chance to speak with Leliana? Away from work, I mean. Some, yes. Leliana has kept in contact, unofficially of course, but it's good to see her again. Arguing with her in person is far more satisfying. I should go. Inquisitor. Divine Victoria? <laughs> Please don't. It would be nice to just be Liliana again for a few days. Oh, of course. Forgive me. There's nothing to forgive. I just want it to be like old times. Tell me about your nugs. Did you get any new ones? Oh, yes. A litter was born just a month ago. We are weaning them right now. If you are hoping for one, I'm afraid they're already spoken for. How are things between you and the hero of Ferelden? <sighs> We see each other whenever we can. There is gossip, of course. People will call me inappropriate. But love is one of the Maker's greatest gifts, and nothing to be ashamed of. Start and end with love, and everything else falls into place. As Divine, I have tried to spread this message. It's taken some time, but I think people are listening, especially now. Do you miss being our spy master? I think I miss the people more than the work. Josie, Cullen... I didn't notice how much I liked having them near until they weren't. We're right, of course, but it's not the same. Have your agents any news I should hear about? Are you hoping for word on Solus? I'm sorry, Inquisitor. I'm afraid I have nothing. Just rumors of sightings that cannot be verified. He's familiar with my methods and seems always one step ahead of me. It is tiring. Perhaps later, Leliana. I'll be right here if you need anything.
Darling, what can I do for you? I wanted your opinion of how Divine Victoria is working out. Leliana is managing to hold the Chantry together, just barely. Likely your influence. How are things for the Circle of Magi? If you call it the Circle while they're in earshot, you'll never hear the end of it, my dear. The College of Enchanters is a ridiculous mess, but it's still a useful institution for training mages. We'll talk another time. Darling, what can I do for you? We'll talk another time. so long around two years that's it two years sweet merciful maker it felt like ten that could have been all the wine only thing back home I really missed what is this ambassadorship about exactly I believe my father set it up but the Imperium certainly didn't object they'd love for the Inquisition to fall apart so they're happy if it seems they consider this council a waste of time that Makes no sense. No? If Dread to Vinter actually pushed for the Inquisition's end, everyone else would disagree on principle. So they send a nobody pariah and hope for the best. Makes perfect sense to me. What did you do in Tevinter while you were away? I'll tell you what I didn't do. See father even once. Mother tracked me down once, which was... nice. I also went to Karinus to see my good friend Mayveris. Then I settled some of Alexis's affairs. That wasn't fun. Any thoughts about the Exalted Council? A few. Divine Victoria needs a new tailor for one. From the paintings of Liliana in that enormous robe, you'd think she was pregnant. Could cause a delicious scandal. As for this whole Exalted Council business, well... I warned you once that no one would thank you for saving the world. Sadly, I'm always right. So long as the Inquisition's around to remind them they're not really in charge, they'll never sleep comfortably. Whether they have the guts to take action, I suppose we'll see. Another time. I look forward to it.
could that be? Let's see where our horned friends were headed.
Demons, put them down! What's this? So that's how the Kunari moves the parts. That's a handy little trick.
us to clean out.
problem? This mirror doesn't look broken, but it's inactive. Maybe there's a way to unlock it.